Today's Friday. This weekend's going to be very hard for us. You know, we're doing. A, we're helping. JC has uh, flea markets both Saturday and Sunday and in they North need, Bergen. And they need me to help. Uh, yeah, we're both going to be helping. I guess you know. Well, um, you might have to. Well, they're going to have me walk the line. I guess, right? Probably because I think uh, one of the ladies is out. Cindy. Oh. No, it's just, it's like one okay. Mile. Anyway. Four sales today, not a lot. Um, we've been finding a little bit, but we're going late, actually. So uh, we're handicapping ourselves just because we don't want to get too much stuff. <laughs> we're getting so much stuff, like, at the store. Lots coming in. And, uh, we still have a lot to process and go through. We want to see if we can just thin out and and then uh, start harder. Uh, you know, get just be more, you know what it is? Be more selective. Be more choosing. That's that's pretty much what it is. I mean, we have, like, look, look at my back seat. <laughs> Like a big Santa there. I gotta put that in the garage. I'm, I'm waiting to sell that. It's not the right time of year. It's the summer. Um, but so, furthest one is Paramus. And I, are they any of them yard sales? I got them all off Craigslist. There's no way to know for me. Uh, because it, a lot of these estate sale people don't want to claim that they're estate sales. Yeah, but you didn't see them cross on the estate sales.net, I guess. Um, you know what? The one in River Edge I did, okay. and it's not a company I'm really happy Arg. with. So. Yeah. I, I don't even know we'll, what our favorite we'll company is anyway. Got. I mean, they're all the same. You no, know, um, I like... Um, what, the ladies in Fort Lee? That, was, that lady that was in Fort Lee, I don't know the name of her company, but I really like her because she understands that she's there to get rid of this stuff. Yeah. You know, she's not there to get the highest price for items. So yeah. she flips them she gets because the money. she knows that she most want of her customers it, so. are going to be resellers. Well, what she said is you she know? doesn't want to take it. That's and what, she doesn't, and the, the people want it gone. Yeah, no, I mean, but she doesn't you know want to take it. She's lucky that she's dealing with level-headed people because there are some people. But you know what? Maybe it's the estate seller, the estate companies that get in these people's heads that their stuff is worth money, mm. so I know how to appraise your stuff, yeah. so let me sell it for you, and I'll get you that. Yeah, that's so what that's what gets in their head, that they want to make, but if you go in there, and you explain to them rationally, at the right price, we're going to move it all, we sell I know what I'm stuff doing. At the right price, we'll get rid of it all, what, and you want to take it with you, or throw it in the garbage? Rid of it afterwards. Well, yeah, but if it's all new stuff, they don't, like, not new, new stuff, but yeah. if it's all stuff that's in really good condition, it's like, they don't want to throw it out. No. You know? No, I know. Or they, they like remember what they paid for it. You know, I you was, got a bunch of pots and pans, I was, you want to throw them out, or you want to make 10 bucks? Yeah, the pots and pans. Now I was at you one know? sale, and the guy's like, oh, remember what I paid for it? I'm like, yeah, well, you know, what? How, you got, like, 20 years use out of it. You know, it, now, now you want, like, top dollar? Just like sell well, it, that, you know, well, take see, it with that you. That was one of the the state sales that let the customer. I put a video game on. Stay in the house and get upset because he remembered what he paid for stuff and what they were selling it for. I would. I was like, okay, if you can stay in the house, but you got to work upstairs, well, and I'll leave is, nothing like, upstairs. You go to some of these uh, rich the households, basement. and they have expensive tastes, and a lot of times stuff is just expensive. It's no, not even good. no, no, no. The stuff that they're buying really shouldn't be that expensive that's but what the I meant. store that they've gone to yeah. is a high-end store so it has a reputation of the pricing being higher yeah. and things like that you know because what they have is but you could go anywhere and get the same thing for cheaper pretty much maybe if not the exact same you thing could but go something to, similar they're, they're tiffany's but because like a nordstrom's or a Saks tiffany Avenue you go to the mall tiffany. there's a tiffany store tiffany is just silver jewelry or honestly. it's it's a glass bowl you know what I mean? Stupid. It could be a glass bowl. Exactly. So they're going and they're buying Tiffany so silver jewelry. The old Tiffany. For two or the old Stupid. Meanwhile, it's like ten dollars worth of silver. And dollar store. So well, no, you can't buy that dollar. No, but you can buy a bowl at the dollar store. But what happens? Glass is bowl. That's what happens. People that have money shop at like Tiffany type stores. Yeah. And then when when they go to resell the stuff, they're a shocked. When people only want to give them scrap value, yeah, you can go or, to a, you can go to a, you know, a store and buy a, 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 a Christmas ornament for like fifty bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and then what are you gonna sell it at a yard sale for fifty bucks? I mean, come on, or a state sale? It's like you gotta you gotta see what is it actually worth, you know? Because maybe it, now it's worth twenty like, bucks. I think I've said worth. this before. Years ago, I Where saw a video Jackson. while Michael Jackson was still alive and he had his Vegas show. Yeah. And he was going. He was went into a Las Vegas. It was like hanging out with them while he was shopping. Yeah, it was a like a, a store that sold decorative 
items. Yeah, and, big vibe. But it was a high end store. Yeah. And it's like as he's walking through, there's these like six foot tall like uh, vases. Asian vases yeah. and things like that. Probably brand And he's new. like, I'll take two of those. And he's not even asking the price. Yeah. Now, because he's got money. And now, because it's on what, camera. Now you know this the store proprietor was making up prices in his head as yeah. he was going because it was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay. But what happens is I, I can't, you know, not everybody has Michael Jackson money. Nope. Like Michael Jackson probably don't care. Right. Or did not care. Right. But regular rich people, you know, they pay money for things and then I feel that they're gonna get a shock when they go unless you wanna put your stuff at auction and nowadays these auction houses don't want these stupid Asian vases and nope. stuff. And, you know, they want like the Kennedy stuff and the Marilyn Monroe stuff. Yeah. And, and, or the big uh, ones. Yeah. You have to find a local shit auction for that, you know. And then what are you going to get? What, what rich people are coming to a local shit auction? None. None. So what are you going to get for your stuff that you spend a lot of money for? I mean, it, it okay, at, at a lot of yard sales for r- weird stuff, it should be anywhere from 10 to maybe 30 cents on the dollar tops. You know, so if you're asking these insane prices, you know, just good luck. You know, do it yourself. But uh, uh, yeah, it's like I don't, I, even at the garage sales, people are pulling out the the, the owner of the house. Because I know a lot of times uh, people who sell get upset, even at the flea market. Other sellers get upset when people pull out phones by their table. Mm. Honestly, I really don't care. I don't care anymore. Look up what I'm selling. You know, if this is my price. Yeah, there's no usually, way I'm more expensive. Usually, though. I know I check things out before I bring them out because yeah. I also don't want to give away something. I don't want to give away Too something get, for ten bucks up. if I can get thirty or forty on eBay. Yeah, you know. But if I'm only going to get twenty on eBay, I'll take it to the flea market and sell it for ten bucks. Well, honestly, if I if I like even I say if I get thirty on eBay, I would sell for maybe as little as ten to fifteen because I don't have to do the work. Yeah, and, and you know, then you know it's cash and you're you know, not whatever. paying shipping and fees. Yeah. So, um, 30 bucks sale on eBay, you automatically lose. So at least I, I don't 10 care bucks. when they're looking stuff up on their phone. Yeah. Buy my stuff or don't buy my stuff. I tell people all the time, what do you care? Because Carmen used to yell at people, put the phone away and get away from my table. Like, <laughs> what do you care? He's, he was an older guy. You know, it's you know. like, don't worry about them looking the stuff up. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times, like, that's why I stopped taking out my, um, jewelry, my loop in front of people uh, because they're like, it's not gold. And I'm like, Look, I'm not just, looking I'm, I'm for half gold. Blind. I'm half blind. You know, I'm looking to see if it's signed by stones. a maker or if it's missing stones. Or if, if, it's like, if it's, there's a lot of wear on it you know? and stuff like, like that. They get all upset because they think you're looking. Because, of course, there's probably 10 people before me yeah. doing the same thing. Yeah, you just got to talk to them like you know? these. will like, say, listen, I'm half blind. I'm, I'm checking for missing for stones and if it has a lot of wear. Yeah, because how many times did I buy something and a stone was missing and I didn't see it or when I make it out? Like, you don't even see this. You're outside and... It's gold tone, but all the gold tone is worn off in certain spots. So now it's like whatever crap old metal is underneath, you know, um, or yeah, it, or it's hidden. You go to these uh, sales, these estate sales, and I think they intentionally there's no have lighting. no lights. The lighting sucks. Yeah, I just use a flashlight so, now. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, you use a flashlight on your phone. Yeah. But see, I don't like drawing attention to myself, and so it irritates me when you can't. Let me hear. Here's a light. I'm like, oh, just let me look at stuff. So yeah. Just the way. For the same reason, when we go into a yard sale, and you're like, Marie, there's jewelry over here. I'm like, shut up. Well, it's there's like, nobody there except a lady. I, I say there's some jewelry. Over I don't want to draw attention that I'm interested in it. I don't mind. I will tell. I'm still gonna do that. that. Markets, I'm still gonna. If I see jewelry, care. I'm gonna say there's Don't do over. it. Just leave me alone. I'll but I have to walk it. all the way over. No, it's like you know. You know, I don't want you to miss it. How am I gonna miss it if I'm already the out other thing I do? Looking at the the other thing sale. I do. It, no, because you're always looking at something else. That's like because weird. I have to look at. it. <laughs> you know what you did? You know, <laughs> it's like there are weird things that you will pass up, like the stupid knife rest. I got a lot of money for. Yeah, but there's a rest. table full of jewelry. You know? I don't care. Most yeah. of the jewelry now is garbage. It's it's, yeah, it it's it new crap. I'll just do what I do where I'll, I'll just start picking stuff I think you like and then you can come over and put it all back. I'll go, uh, you might like this. That's why I go, I go wow. Yeah, and then I got to deal with these ladies. Oh, he's so nice. He's looking out for you. <laughs> and then I'm putting everything back and she's giving me a dirty look like I'm such a bitch. Well, I, what I actually say is, I say she's really picky, so I don't always know what she'll choose. Mm. She has a lot of stuff, so I say, I'll just take things I think she likes and, you know, she may put it back or whatever. I see the sign. We're close. That's not the sign. I oh, is it? Uh, whatever then. 
Mm-hmm. This is probably a bullshit one. They have way too many signs. Oh, that's the one I'm going to. Oh, okay, there you go. And and this one is more. He he's the one that had the soundboard and stuff. <sighs> so it's like, but he said he had records. All so right. I figured just it's just a guy sale. I'll it's just probably wait. tools and I'll just wait. and uh, maybe I'll get some stuff. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. All right, uh, let me turn this off because we're almost here. Right. This guy has tools. And I said, I'll look at his records. Hopefully, if his records are a little expensive, then there'll be some left for me. Marie didn't even get out of the car. She says, ah, oh, this is a guy, so I can't cross the street. They're not going to slow for me. Go for this one. All right. All right, let me go look at the records. How are you? Uh, how much are records? Uh, it depends. They start at two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. There's some I'm willing to let go for a dollar, but. All right, I'll take a quick look. Okay. I am. I am recording. Um, okay, so I went to yard sale, spent thirty bucks on records, and he actually was more reasonable. Than I thought at first he was like, "Well, most records are two fifty. Some will be." Uh, less, some will be more. I'm like, oh, okay, right. But then when I picked him out, he just gave them to me for a little more than a dollar a piece because I was taking ones with... Uh, he was a DJ, so the records were in good, like really nice and clean and good condition. But the covers are... Co- some of the... They have water damage. Some of the covers are fucked. Um, but I'll go... Th- I'll look at them. For what I paid, I'm fine. And I'll just... I'm probably going to put these on whatnot because there's nothing so great here for a flea market. So it's going to be people who want the actual music. I got a, He had a couple of Saturday Night Fevers. He had a bunch of Donna Summers, and someone was asking for Donna Summer yesterday, or we sold some Donna Summer, so I figured I'd just buy the Donna Summers. We could probably get like five a piece for these and whatnot. Here's just Phil Collins, no uh, jacket required. This is I would pay a dollar for this anytime. Doesn't matter. Um, Eartha Kid, I figured I'd try because she's jazzy. She's very unique. I'll, I might even look these up to see if they have any value. Although I doubt they do. Here's some more Donna Summer. Look at her. She's oh, I used to have that album. Yeah, that's pretty Back cool. Back in the day. And look, I got two of them. Oh, look, I got another Saturday Night Fever, more Donna Summer, but then I got other stuff too. Uh, more Donna Summer, more Donna Summer, uh, more Donna Summer. I guess I got a lot of Donna Summer. Uh, the Romantics, anybody remember the Romantics? I uh, hear the secrets that you keep. Boom, 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 when you're wrong, whatever. Um, the Cars, Greatest Hits, that should be five and up. Anything Eric Clapton, I would buy. Lover Boy. And this one actually is probably the, the best because the cover's going to run. Emerson, Lake, and Powell? I thought it was Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I guess they needed a new P for ELP. They already had all this ELP merchandise, and their logo was ELP. So, do you remember Buster Point, Point, uh, Poindexter? Poindexter? Poindexter. Buster Poindexter? Hot, hot, hot. He used to be in a band called the New York Dolls. He was like punk. Buster Poindexter. He's the one that's saying hot, hot, hot. Stray Cats. They had, these guys were kind of rockabilly. That's what I can remember. Oh, look. I got uh, Hall and Oates' Greatest Hits. Uh, Asia. Uh, and here's where I got some where the covers were like total shit. Uh, but the records are good. Go-Go's. Uh, Def Leppard. Oh, it looks like they got wet and Make stuck Jerry, together. Yeah, they got wet and stuck together. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. Ah, it's a single, son of a bitch. Whatever. And the Kinks. I like the Kinks. We had the Kinks yesterday, but maybe I can double this up the other one. And here, you can see, like, all the records are, like, in this condition. Because the guy was a DJ, and he needed his records to be nice and clean. He didn't fuck around with them. So there you go. Nice, nice. Nice, nice baby. All right, um, we're going to a couple more sales. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll get something, uh, something else.
some more books. Okay. Okay. Something there. Is there anything in here? A lot of tchotchkes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Anything up there? Nope. This used to be good, but now nobody cares. I don't want to deal with that anyway. It's all thread. Alright. How about this one first? Jesus Christ, it's heavy. I'm gonna look this up. This is 20 I made by it. I gotta ask Marie. Okay, uh, I just spent 30 bucks. So I actually spent 30 and 30 at both sales. I bought this uh, animal classics made by these guys, whoever they are. And it's just a big polar bear. I paid 15 and I think I'm gonna, I, I think it's up for like 100. Here. I know. Uh, you could, I bought this uh, egg. Everything was 30, so this was five. This is kind of cool. It's Royal Dalton, and it has, I thought it was Shakespeare, but I don't know. can't figure out who it is, but it's got an old Mark chip, 
kind of a crack going on. Otherwise, it's in pretty good condition. It's um, antique. It's antique for sure. So they only, she only charged me five on that. Then I got these two Fenton bells. This one says, bringing in the 20th century year 2000. And it's got a building on it. Not really sure what it is. I'll figure it out later. And it's just another Fenton bell. It has butterfly on the top. Uh, and that was five. So that's like 15, 20, 25, 30 bucks. And she threw in the, uh, the egg. They're nuts. Price wise, in this house. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of stuff left over. trying real hard not to go anywhere near the horn because yeah. I don't know if it's like I slightly touched it. I don't know. I think there's it might be a fuse that's weird and if you go over a bump or something or or whatever because before it was like you when you were turning it it was like maybe something reset. So anyway uh, we're heading home. We went to three cells not the fourth because all of a sudden the car starts the car horn started going off non-stop. At first I thought I pressed the horn but I yeah. didn't. Yep. At first you did. You're like, I didn't even press it. You yeah, know? I told you I didn't. I knew I didn't press the horn. Yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe I did it by accident. Yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, then it just wouldn't stop. You know, and we're, I'm, I'm like walking into house sales and I, I didn't really hear them complaining yeah, about like, what's with the horn? You know, like when I went to the house sale. Well, they said, I looked, I Googled it. Yeah. And what did it say? And it said to, to tap the horn and just turn the wheel. Oh, is that what it said? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now you know something you could do. Turn the wheel, tap the horn. But we can't... But I can't do that while On the driving. highway, yeah. Yeah. Just tap the horn and turn the wheel. Then turn you know? line on East Ridge um, Avenue. So maybe there's something electric with it. And I couldn't just let it run because it'll run out my battery. Oh, it will. Yeah, for sure. You know, you have to keep the car running if, if it keeps going for too long. Um, so that's fun. But I guess what we're going to do is... I'm, 
yep, there it goes. Um, I guess what we're gonna do before, but it was like doing real, like if it just did that, it'd be okay. But it and would be like, just get yeah, yeah, but I mean, just. But I didn't touch the horn. Yeah, if, if we pull out a light and I, we're behind somebody, it's just going, ah, they'd be like, what the fuck, you know? So that's not gonna be good. Um, so we're just gonna call it, uh, go grab some food and and get this to the mechanic. And just uh, come on, just what the hell's going on with this thing already, you know? Um, and uh, I don't think I did horrible. Like I said, the last oh the last I didn't say it. the last cell I went to, we saw the pictures and they had a lot of nice QVC style jewelry. It was like in boxes. And, and all in boxes. Like, there are people that have this illness where they shop on on the TV. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, then they never wear this because it, it's still price tags and too stuff much. on it. Everybody's and you were like, oh, man. I was like, no. Because if, if they already know. No, it's easy for them. What yeah. they want to charge for this stuff. Um, and, it's, and I'm not. And if it's QVC. Yes. And I, I know the people that sell this they're, and they're always like that. They're just like. If it's QVC, there's a lot. You know, they sell thousands of pieces of the same they thing. They did. They did for sure. So, out there. Uh, you know, when you go. When you go to put it online, also, there's so much, like, QVC stuff on. Yeah. I feel like there might be, because QVC is in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So maybe near the the place where they actually record the, the episodes or whatever, mm -hmm. there might be a... QVC uh, outlet? A, an outlet, yes. Yeah. And okay. people in the area might go there and buy the stuff at the outlet for outlet prices outlet prices and then but it's just like because there's so much qvc stuff yes um going back decades yeah and they've got the papers and they got the box so that's why a lot of times if i find uh certain things at yard sales like sometimes like joan rivers stuff and things like that you know i think it's a good piece and then i go online and yeah you know people have the boxes and the paperwork and, and all that stuff and i got nothing yeah that's why you gotta like be careful what you pay. Well, I saw all the boxes and the table was full. I didn't see hardly any jewelry because, like I said, I, I saw things like eighty to eighty dollars, hundred dollars, sixty dollars, forty dollars, uh, and it was to me. I'd have to really check the prices in every single one. I ain't gonna do that, you know. Nah, it's too much work, too much trouble. And like I said, I went to the basement and it was just a bunch of trains, and I was like, I don't. I've had that stuff. Um. Just hopefully, we'll, we'll just stop and get something to eat uh, if it starts acting up, you know. Like, uh, ho hopefully you just tap the they thing. They said there's something maybe in the steering column when I right. read. Yeah. Uh, like a short or something. Okay. Oh, then maybe that's the problem why the car uh, stalls, you know. No, that makes sense, right? See, it's like stuttering now. Uh, all right, well, may, maybe we can figure it out. Because we thought it was a fuel line or something like that, but maybe there's a short or a problem in, in the steering column. Because that's where the ignition... Uh, well, who knows? What do I know? <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, we're going to grab a bite. I'm going to go to the store. Probably going to buy some DVDs today. Really excited about no. that. No! Uh, they're for the flea market. They're all sealed, actually. And it's Dave. Dave needs money. All right, got to go. Bye. All right, guys, you're not going to be really excited about this, but for 60 bucks, I got an Atari flashback. This is probably worth 20 maybe. I'm probably going to get $20, maybe 20 maybe 25 if I'm lucky. And I got a big old bag of DVDs. These are for the flea market. Um, they're actually sealed, and I actually could have gotten them for free if I were a dumpster diver, <laughs> but I'm not. So I actually paid for them. I paid like 50 bucks. Um, but anyway, if you can, I think I'm going to set up and sell at North Bergen tomorrow. If you want to come by, stop uh, by, say hello, hang out, buy some stuff for me. That's where I'll be. And of course, the store will be open if you want to stop by there, buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks uh, for watching, everybody. Bye.